Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Malaysia Hayward and I am the Bougie Bookkeeper. And here on this channel, we empower these, the entrepreneur with the expertise and tools they need to grow, build, and sustain their accounting system. And today we are coming with a very highly requested video and that is how to fill out our certificate of resale. So on today's video, we're gonna talk about what the certificate of resale is, how you use it, and then how to actually fill it out. So firstly, what is the certificate of resale and when is it used? So the certificate of resale is required for proof that no tax is due on any sale that is made tax-free as a sale for resale. So for me, I am a visual learner, so I like to see some graphs. So I went ahead and made a whole little Word document for you guys. So this right here will represent the purchaser. So let's say that I am a wig company. So I'll put a P here to let you know that's purchaser. So let's say that I had owned a wig company, and I need to buy 100 wigs in bulk. So I need to buy 100 wigs in bulk. And this entity right here, this store will be the seller. So as the purchaser, my business is called Riz Galore, and I need to buy 100 wigs from AliExpress, right? So as the purchaser, I need to buy from the seller. So that's the first thing to, to identify. So as the purchaser, I need to buy 100 wigs from the seller, okay? So for the seller to sell the wigs back to me, Typically, they will have to charge sales tax. So any type of sale that happens inside the United States, whether it's a service or a product, sales tax is attached. So if I did not have the certificate of resale, then as the seller, I would have to go ahead and charge you sales tax on this book. But since we are dealing with a certificate of resale and you are using the product that I am selling back to you, to then sell to the general public, and we'll put, I'll try to put GP, yeah, I'm not good at this, GP for the general public, then now I don't have to charge you sales tax. Again, so as the purchaser, I need to buy 100 wigs from AliExpress. But for AliExpress to sell it back to me tax-free, I then have to be selling those wigs to the general public or my clientele. I cannot be using this sale right here for my own use or for my business use, for my personal business use, like just to hang around the shops or something like that. Then they would have to put sales tax. But since I'm using the sale right here to go back out to the public, now I qualify and this is when a certificate of sale is required, okay? So I hope that helped you guys a little bit. So as the seller who is selling you the bulk item so that you can sell to the general public, I require proof that you are actually using what I'm selling to you to be sold back to the general public. So I need to prove that you are using what I'm selling you for resale so that I don't have to charge you taxes. And that is where the certificate of resale comes in. So as the supplier or as the seller, I can request from you, the purchaser, the certificate of resale. And also as the seller, I am the one that must keep the certificate, okay? Why do I keep the certificate? Again, if the government comes and they are asking me as a seller why I did not give you sales tax when I sold you this book, I can tell them because I sold you it in bulk for the purposes of you to resell this back out to the general public. So also what's very important about the certificate of resale is this is not something that you send into the IRS or something that you submit into the IRS. This is something just like the drawing, the drawing that I said that the seller must keep for its records because at the end of the year during tax season or whenever they are required to submit the, the sales tax, they can then prove why this particular sale didn't have any sales tax included. So it is for the seller. Um, also, what's really important that a, a lot of people do not know is that you also can use a purchase order. So this is what a purchase order you looks like. It has almost all the same information as a certificate of resale. 
So almost all the same information. It requires a signature. It requires both the vendor and the customer information, all the information right here. So if you don't want to use a certificate of resale, you can also use your purchase orders as a, uh, as a certificate of resale as well. So that's super important to keep in mind. So let's move on to um, how to actually fill this out. But one big tip that I had. So let's say that I am the seller. seller. So remember from our, our demonstration, this is the seller right here. So if I am the seller, what I would highly suggest that you do is that you fill out this information. Always have this information filled out and just make a lot of copies of it. That way, when you give this to the purchaser for them to fill out, your information is already filled out. You don't have to stop and fill it out. They just fill out their information. Now, as the purchaser, so as the person who is buying the wigs from in bulk from the seller, you may be asking, so do I need it? So I would suggest just as, just, just as a good workflow, just as good practices, I would say keep, I would say um, one, make sure you always get a copy of this, but two, if the seller doesn't provide it to you or they're not providing a purchase order, then it will be a good idea on your behalf just to be like, hey seller, I didn't do a certificate of resale. So for your records and to make sure that you're not asking me at the end of the year to fill something like this out and I got to remember all the information, here's, the, here's everything, you just got to fill your information. So as the purchaser, so as the person that is buying in bulk, then I will fill out this information. But also, be one thing that you need to have as a person that is buying in bulk from the seller, you need to either have a retail license, a reseller license, or you need to have a certificate to do business out of the state of Illinois. Because you need to collect, you need to be able to put all that information in here. And that those are different applications um, that you need to be able to give the IRS. So you gotta make sure you have this, okay? So let's go ahead and dive into how to actually fill the certificate of service, excuse me, the certificate of resale out. All right. So at so we're going to start with the seller. Remember from our drawing here, the seller is the one that is selling in bulk. So I'm selling 100 wigs to the, the wig company so then they can sell to the general public. That makes me the seller. So as the seller here, I need to be the one to keep this form. So remember that. So I'm putting my information in here and then I'm giving it to the purchaser so they can fill out the information. And then I have to make sure that the purchaser signs and dates that. But as the seller, all that I have to do is make sure that this top information is filled out. Now I am now from the perspective of the purchaser. So I'm the one who just bought a hundred wigs from the seller to sell to the general public. So I bought the wigs. I then have to fill out the rest of the information. So the seller has filled out their information, the person that I'm buying all my wigs from. I then have to put my name, my business name with the information. And then, like I said, if you are registered as a retail, you need to put your ID number. If you are a registered as a reseller, you need to put your ID number. If you're somebody who was doing business outside the state of Illinois and only doing business outside the state of Illinois and you're delivering that property outside of Illinois, then you need to go ahead and uh, go ahead and skip all that. And well, I say you have to click this and then fill out the rest of the information. Now describe the property. For me, as the person that is buying a hundred wigs, I'll put down that I am buying a hundred wigs from AliExpress. Here is the invoice number, and I am buying them as of 9 19, 2023. Then I'm gonna go down here. So you have two options. Either you are selling the, the whole 100 wigs to the general public. If that's the case, then you're going to hit the first one. But let's say I want to sell 90% of the wigs to the public and I want to keep 10% just in my store so I can hang on my mannequins. Then I'm going to put 90%. I'm going to actually use for resale. So that 90% will not get taxed. But the 10% that I'm keeping for my store just to put on my mannequins and show off, I they will need to tax me on that. So then I want to go down here as the purchaser, as a person who just bought the 100, 100 wigs, and I want to make sure I sign it and I date it. And then that's it. I make sure as the purchaser that I give this back, I, I make a copy, and I give this back to the seller. Or if I'm the seller and I make sure that if I'm the person selling you the 100 wigs, I will make sure you fill this information out. I will then make a copy for you, but I will keep this for my records.
All right, you guys, so that is the basis of what a certificate of resale is, how it is used, when it is used, as well as how to actually fill it out. So if you will, if you like videos like this and you have any more requests, do not hesitate to drop them in the comments. I will definitely get them done for you guys. Now, if you are a small to medium sized business owner and you are frustrated because you don't have the time or the knowledge to continue to set up your QuickBooks or to run your QuickBooks or to get your bookkeeping done, listen, I am the solution. At the Bougie Bookkeeper, we 100% take care of your bookkeeping for you so that you can focus on the big dreams while we focus on those calculations. So if this is some, something that you're interested, please click the link in the bio or head over to thebougiebookkeeper.com. Set up a consultation with me. It's 100% free. And let's see how we can help each other. I will see you guys in the next video.